So Adobe have just joined in on the AI wave by releasing their Adobe Firefly generative AI product. And it's actually really, really good. And I think this definitely is going to take the world by storm. Something interesting also about this product is that they have a do not train tag for creators who do not want their work used in a future AI generation model. So I guess it's actually protecting the artists as well. So it's definitely very interesting to see how they're going to do this. Now, we need to get right into this because a lot of this stuff is very very interesting so essentially we're gonna watch this quick trailer and i'm gonna show you every single feature and then we're gonna go into detail how these features are gonna impact the current state of the creative cloud and why this is actually so interesting one of the first features that we can see right here is that you're able to change the composition of an image by a simple text prompt now as someone that uses photoshop you have to understand that this is something that is very very difficult to do especially if you're a beginner now what you're about to see is that when i click play here they just simply say change scene to winter they click generate and it immediately changes it now what's also cool about this okay and this is something that is much better from photoshop um, and adobe that we're getting that other image generators don't have is you can see right here that we're getting uh simple simple changes you can see that there's many different compositions that we can actually choose and pick from which means that this is going to be very very effective we can see one two and three and this is something that the user interface is just allowing users to be much more creative you know software like mid journey and software like dali 2 are a little bit more confusing to the average user because you have to fine tune and tweak things a little bit differently but with here you can see right here in adobe firefly all you need to do click these three things and get your stylistic outputs and then if we continue you can also see that you know we also do have this right here now this is essentially a brush feature now if you don't know what this is essentially in photoshop sometimes you want to paint something and you want to have a different brush now creating these brushes is very very difficult guys this is something that people do struggle with and you can see right here you can simply create a brush from something that you're already using and i'm going to get into every single one of these as you can see right here as well you're able to change the texture of you know certain products i'm not entirely sure if this is just in adobe's new 3d software or if this is in photoshop because we do see it rotating um, and this trailer i do want to just point out that the stuff does go by very very quickly and i'm going to get into every single point in further detail um and here this is something that is really cool you can see you can add water see there's already something like this in nvidia by the way so this isn't something that is completely new um and of course this one is really cool i do think that this will disrupt canva because you can see right here it's a generate template from a mood board so that is something that is really cool um and then right here um they just added a bunch of stuff and that was just a image of the official bird now this one is really really cool so as you guys can see right here you can have certain things in an image and then you can highlight that that image and then you can generate variations like that which is so so cool guys and this is just scratching the surface of what is capable with photoshop then we also have okay you guys can see as well this is why it's so good is because it, it it merges it seamlessly so you can see like at the background here it all looks perfect so there's no real you know distortion between it and like i said guys the user interface is very very simple you've got your refresh button you know you've got your refresh button right here and then of course you've got your three different things that you can use very very simple very very easy to use and i think that this is going to become the main thing that people use when it comes to generating ai images because of how easy it is to use so as you guys can see right here generate an underwater city in outpainting i'll show you that this is a feature in photoshop but it actually does lack so um yeah you can see also generate variations from for this sketch so this is actually very useful if you're someone that ever designed before um generating variations from a sketch is crazy so uh this has more application than just a mid journey and this is generate textiles um, and you can generate textiles and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that so this is also really cool as well it offers a training your model feature which is going to be really really interesting because that means you're going to be giving it your own data um, and it says describe what you want to create and this person wants to wants to create you know my headphones in a studio um, and yeah that, that's really crazy so it says my headphones outdoors um, and that's crazy guys so you can literally input your own images and put them somewhere else so i think that's going to be one of the biggest features but let's get into every single feature individually adobe did recently just announced was text to image um and this is something that we've recently seen i think uh you know bing now has it you know mid journey dali 2 stable diffusion there's many of these so i won't cover this in too much detail but what i will say about this the reason that i will say that this is so much more interesting than previous image generators is because if we take a look at the right hand side here you can see that it says styles now this means that this is far more effective than mid journey and other ones because 
you can see right here that a user using this website can simply select the content type okay you can see that it's a photo or a graphic or a piece of art and this is something the average user isn't going to understand now i'm not someone that understands every single art style and i'm pretty sure that everyone doesn't but you can see right here that they have many different popular styles that you can simply use without having to you know have the knowledge of these guys you know prompt engineering is something good but what if you don't know every single art style but you see one and you like it you can simply click um, you know click digital art or you can click neon or you can click chaotic um, you can change the color you can change the tone you can change the lighting all of these in one app um, in a beta which is in beta right now which is really really cool okay um, and you can see right here that once you change it and you change the landscape you can see that by changing it you know and the movements you can also see right here as well it's just far more effective than mid journey because for example in order to do something like this in mid journey guys all you would need to do is you need to change your prompt write it in a certain way um add a bit of effects you know you need to add like some weights it's just very very hard to do unless you know you're a bit of an advance and i'm not going to say that this is just some amazing software and mid journey is horrible but um i do think that this is far more easier to use um and you can see right here that they've literally just added some concepts the lighting um, and instantly they've got some better results so i do think that this is going to be easier because you can see right here that this just simply allows you to have your tags at the bottom and i personally if i was someone who was creating i would definitely find this much easier to use now there's also some other stuff that i do want to show you that was just revealed um, at the event and it was definitely very very interesting so as you guys can see right here it says portrait of a person in an art, art studio with uh you know plants and a sunlight and you can see right here guys that what's crazy about this this um i did this honestly looks pretty insane guys because we can see right here okay and this is something that i didn't even realize when watching this but you can see right here we've clicked art and then as the person in the demo shows us okay as they've gone over they've now clicked to photo and we can now see guys that they've literally um generated these photorealistic images and these look far too realistic but it's, it's just absolutely insane guys so this is just pretty much crazy um that this generative ai works this well and what's cool guys is you're now about to see that you can simply just change aspect ratios uh, right here now aspect ratio is simply how big and wide the image is how tall and wide it is so for example on your phone um you know this is what your phone is and then of course when you flip your phone that is what your phone is too and of course this is just an aspect ratio for maybe instagram so if you're creating content and you want to use it for something this is far more better because guys like i said in mid journey you have to know exactly what is what um and someone might not recognize 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 as widescreen they might just not know but when you see the images you know okay this is full screen phone this is uh you know something for like a youtube video this is something for like an instagram this is for like a portrait picture so this is far better and what it shows us here as well guys and this is only 12 seconds in is that uh you know it does it really well it already does have this feature in adobe you can simply change what this person is wearing and i know you can do this with other ai software as well but this is truly truly good guys this is just like i mean this is so perfect now what's also cool here um adobe does have some minor features like this which i will show you later on in the video that it does have that people don't really know because they just don't really use it that much that i do use but um you can see right here that you can literally you know make it smile more you know open eyes and just all these subtle things guys you know if, if photoshop wasn't already good enough like there's a lot that you can do with photoshop but the thing now is that this is going to make the average person really good at photoshop so it's going to really close that skill gap um and you can see right here generate an image of a sunlit living room with a modern furniture with a large window and you can see right here um that it generates many different styles and, and these look like honestly guys i'm not gonna lie to you these look far better than anything i've ever seen um so it, it's definitely scary to see what this is running on because i'm not sure what it's running on just yet but i do know that it is powered by nvidia so um that should give you some context with as to what it is now this is really cool here i think this is going to be very very limited because this is 3d to image and 3d is definitely very hard but within the beta that they have they do show off some very effective things so with 3d to image and honestly guys it wasn't the thing about this adobe thing it wasn't just one thing in fact i need to show you this they released so many different things guys you guys can see here um in painting personalized results text to vector text to pattern 3d to image extend image text brush sketch to image like they released a lot of stuff in one guys um so it's definitely going to be pretty crazy but anyways let's get back to this you can see here okay so they take a random shape or a model maybe you're going to be able to upload your model um and they take a random shape and then essentially what you can do is you can convert let's let's say we got this shape right here that you can all see then we can convert this to a castle 
on a grass hill. So it'll take that, take your prompt, and then, you know, do something with that. So let's see exactly what it does. You can see exactly how photorealistic this is. So this is something that is truly, truly insane, guys, because this is photorealistic. Like if someone showed me this picture and was like, this is somewhere in America, somewhere in the UK, I would be like, yeah, it probably is. Uh, definitely a strange build, but uh, yeah, it definitely looks real although it's a weird shape but this is truly photorealistic guys and this was generated fairly quickly so um a castle dessert and this is something you can see right there that it did created uh you know a dessert in the shape of a castle so that's also really cool so um with 3d it's going to be really really interesting to see what gets created um and this is where i think canva dies i know this might seem crazy and, and i know canva um, did steal some market share from Photoshop. If you don't know what Canva is, let me just show you quickly. Essentially what Canva is, and I'm just showing you this because I want you guys to, I'm essentially showing you what Canva is so you can understand why this is so disruptive. So essentially what this is, this is essentially a platform where you can quickly design things, okay? Um, and I don't know if they're going to be adding AI stuff. They do have an event coming up very, very soon, as you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner. But you can basically create some stuff very quickly. You can, let's say, want to create an Instagram story. You click this. Then, example, you go over here. You click this. And then you just simply edit this. And you say uh, the AI grid. Um, and then, boom, you've got your post. So you just edit the image. And it's really cool. I'm not going to lie. That is very good. But like I was saying, with AI, you can just simply say make a birthday poster. And, boom, you have a birthday poster just like that guys and then with this is her sixth birthday um they then generate this um and you can see right here that it shows it updates to her sixth birthday so this is going to be very very disruptive okay very very disruptive um and so so interesting because i think that this is going to just take the world by storm um and of course this is even crazier guys you can input the image this is something that you can't actually do in canva you can actually input the image but this actually does it in a very very good way so this is going to save so much time guys imagine just inputting an image and saying it's her sixth birthday and boom you have exactly what you need like this is crazy like imagine just inputting an image and say i need uh, a logo design or a web page design uh, it's gonna it's gonna really potentially um make a lot of people faster but definitely eliminate a lot of jobs i would say as well so uh also what's here dress the dog in this then also you know put it in front of a gingerbread house something that other software can do and this is also another image generation this is going to be truly insane because vectors are very hard to create um but you can also do text to vector which is going to be absolutely incredible um because vectors are very hard mid journey doesn't do vectors there are some websites which do do vectors there is a website that does do it but if adobe manages to pull this off correctly it'll really really change the game because essentially what vectors are different to images is that you can scale these infinitely which means that they can never lose quality so it's really really cool now this right here combining photos is actually really cool because this is going to make things a lot creative i'm definitely going to give people a lot um a, a lot a lot of creativity and the next thing here there's one last thing that i really do want to talk about which is really crazy so this okay this is insane because i recently used an ai image enhancer and it was it was scarily good like it was like almost you know just i don't know how it knew that those details were there um and you can see right here that when you upscale an image um trust me when i say guys this what you're seeing right here stuff like this isn't fake i know you guys might think ah they just pixelated it and unpixelated it it's not fake at all i've seen some basic websites that can upscale ai images uh with ridiculous speed so essentially what you want to do is go to the main page and just click request request access um and then you just simply enter your details um and i'm not sure when they're going to release the beta i know some people do have it but i do think it was the select few um but yeah it, this is definitely going to be insane you can see that they released so many different things and in painting is kind of already in here you can essentially kind of do that already but uh it's definitely very very interesting guys to see how quickly this is all going and i think this will be definitely the biggest ai tool used by anyone in ai with regards to image generation because the amount of stuff that you can do with this is going to be off the board so if you did enjoy this video uh leave a like comment down below let me know if i missed anything and i'll see you in the next one